Today I'm sharing two ways to style your hair if you're in a rush, let's say you're traveling or getting ready at the gym and you don't have a ton of time to spend on your hair, but you still want it to look pulled together. So for both of these styles, I'll be using the T3 Featherweight Compact Dryer. So you can see here that it folds in half, just pop it open. My favorite aspect of this dryer, not only it's small, so it's easy to pack if you're traveling or throw it in your gym bag, um, but it has the two speeds. And then the cool shot isn't just a trigger button, you just push the slider all the way to the top and it keeps the air cool without you having to hold something down. So it is perfect if you're in a rush and trying to move fast and if you get hot, you just push that slider all the way to the top, it'll cool yourself down and it will cool your hair down. So that is one of my favorite features of the Featherweight Compact Dryer. So I'll put a little product in my hair to start and then we'll get it dried. The first thing I'll be using is It's a 10 Leave-In Spray. I'm going to put this up mid shaft to ends, just adds a nice sort of deep conditioning, it smells fantastic. And I'm just using my fingers to kind of run it throughout. And then because this style is supposed to be sort of undone and textured, I'm not going to use my typical root lifting foam. Instead I'm using Redken Air 808. This is not my favorite product to use for volume, however, if you're going to be doing your hair fast and you want a little bit of bulk in the middle of your hair, um, I would pick up about this much. Uh, if your hair is longer, grab a little bit more. If it's shorter, do a little bit less. Put it in your palm and then rub it through and it will add a bit of texture and fullness throughout the middle. Won't necessarily add a ton of volume at your roots, but if you're going for a textured style, this is great for volume. So you just kind of scrunch it in and spread it around. So the goal for the style is a lot of texture. So in using the Featherweight Compact, I'm just going to use my hands. Uh, instead of a brush to pull through and smooth it out, I want my hair, I want to encourage any natural bend it has. Mine has very little. Despite what you're seeing here, this all sort of falls out. Um, so I'm just going to use my hands and put the dryer on the second setting. And then at the end, I'll push it all the way up to the cool shot to cool everything down. So this is a quick style, but it's a little bit more interesting than just a ponytail. So you can see the curls fell out of my hair. So I'm picking up the T3 Single Pass Compact Flat Iron and just the hairs that have fallen out here, I'm gonna put a tiny bend in them. But don't grab the ends into the twist because you want it to look undone and sort of that not super structured texture. Don't overthink those sections that you touch up with the flat iron really quick. It's supposed to be fast and efficient, and you don't want the front to be over curled and perfect because it won't match well with like the undone nature of the back of your hair. So 
So my second quick look for getting ready fast at the gym or just on a busy morning is blow drying your hair straight. And I will be using the uh, featherweight blow dryer and then the single pass flat iron. And I'll show you a strategic way to part your hair to get like the maximum impact, even with a compact iron, because this one is still really hot. It has even heat distribution. So one pass and you're good. That's why they call it a single pass. Um, but I'll show you how to get a really smooth result in like no time. So make sure you're using a vented brush if you're trying to blow dry your hair straight because it allows the air to move through the brush and makes the blow dry a little bit faster. So once your hair is dry, Throw your part in it, wherever that may be, and then grab from your temples all the way around, like you were drawing a circle around your head, and clip that section up. So with the hair that's left down, just do a rough part right down the center in the back and pull your hair in front, brush through it, and although the T3 Single Pass Compact Flat Iron is small, it's mighty and it's hot and it heats up quick. So you're able to do like a pretty big section in just one swipe if you pull it slow and at a consistent speed. So my flat iron is on here. I'm gonna put it in, press it down, and then just slowly pull it through. I've got this whole section. You notice my wrist is bent a little bit to encourage a little bit of bend right at the end. So that side is done. Move to the other side. Do the same thing, and then you only have the top to deal with. So this is great if you're in a rush, and if you've got layered hair, the layers on top are a little bit more important for smoothing since that's what's seen. So now that the bottom is straight, let that duck bill clip out and allow your hair to fall where you parted it. And then you can be really efficient. Make sure you brush through the section and just quickly guide the flat iron through there. So even though that compact flat iron is small, it's still really effective. And don't fight the urgency to take small sections with it. Because trust me, you can get like a nice smooth finish on even a bigger section if you don't have a ton of time to spend on your hair. So I hope these two styles gave you some inspiration if you're getting ready at the gym and just need to throw like a tiny flat iron and a tiny blow dryer in your bag, or if you're traveling, or just have a busy morning that you need to get ready quickly in.